Hi, I'm Cressel Anderson, this is Makersize. In this episode, I'll be building a portable foundry so that I can do casting demonstrations on the road. I modeled up this foundry in Fusion 360 before I started building it. I also made a real type propane burner. I'll be at Maker Faire October 1st and 2nd, and one of the things that I want to do, weather permitting, is some casting demonstrations. I need a propane tank. Uh, I got a regulator that'll go up to 40 PSI. An assortment of fittings and plumbing parts. I'll have a detailed article on makersize.com uh, that will have a bill of material in case you want to build the same foundry. It'll also have a Fusion 360 model. If you want to help support the content I generate, you can use the Amazon affiliate links in the post as well. I'll be using Sarakim KO wall style insulation, as well as some fire bricks and a stainless steel stock pot. I previously used something like this, a six gallon galvanized steel container, but I really wanted to stay away from zinc uh, in the construction of this foundry, since I'm gonna be putting the plans out there. I felt like stainless was a much better option. So I went with stainless hardware, just iron, not galvanized pipe fittings. There is a difference between a ball valve, regular ball valve and a gas ball valve. And the way that I noticed that was as I was checking the fittings with the spray bubbles, I also used the other propane torch, the small torch to light it. Uh, and I noticed that there was gas leaking out of the ball valve handle in addition to the spot where I could see the bubbles. I picked up uh, the proper gas ball valve. I believe this flange fitting is leaking, so I am going to make up this connection first and check this for leaks, and then I'll check the rest of the nozzle assembly. Bigger wrenches was all it took to get that flange fitting to seat, uh, and a little bit of micro size muscle. I'm also going to put some Loctite on this screw uh, and a washer to see if I can make this a little easier to use. One of the aspects to this project that I think I'm going to like is I'm going to flip the pot upside down so that way you take the top of the kiln off and you can just sneak up on the crucible with your pouring shank. My initial design made use of the pot's lid but I'll go into a little bit more detail on that later. 
Okay, so things have not been going as smoothly as what I had hoped. Uh, I do like the design of the lid. That thing's working really well. The base, however, it's pretty bad. It's cracked ridiculously. New plan is to take another pot and flip that upside down. Use some more of the ceramic fiber insulation on the bottom along with the fire bricks, which seem to be holding up okay. There's a little bit of cracking on this one where I where I split it. We'll see how they hold up. My old crucible is showing signs of cracking. You can even see the aluminum starting to melt through. I think that might be where this big puddle came from in the bottom. Not really sure. Along the lines of changing out the base for a stainless steel pot, I went and I purchased one. However, this pot is not the right pot. 16 quart. Anyway. That's where I'm at. I release project videos early to MakerSize email subscribers. If you want early access, go to makersize.com slash sign up. Many of these castings turned out great and I plan to sell some at Maker Fair. Follow me on social media for real-time project updates. I hope this video inspires you to exercise your inner maker. If you like the video, click the like button. More detailed information is available on makersize.com.